Okay, hello YouTube, um, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Canadian Greek coming at you with ice on update number 16. Um, what I've discovered <clears throat> is um, deeply disturbing, and it goes down to the very foundations. Um, ISON is uh, apparently broken up, but what I've discovered about it, about its breakup, and uh, all the NASA lies, uh, is really going to set you back on your heels today. I promised you guys a bombshell <clears throat> of an update, and this is it. So let's begin. Now, remember... Uh, let's not start with that. Let's start with this. I saw him going around the sun. Now, NASA... I claim that these, uh, these frames here have been doctored, fudged, okay? This is basically the same frame being shown over and over, <clears throat> or the same um, frame being repeated. There's a couple of frames at the beginning that are actual, that, that actually do follow themselves in sequence, and then it stops, it freezes, and then it goes on along, and at the end, if you'll just take one quick notice, well, with it popping in and out the way it does, it's really hard to see, but if you flip from the last frame to the first frame, okay, just the last and first frame, you'll see the sun, there is a there's some movement. So there are a couple frames, I don't know how many exactly in the beginning that, are, that move in sequence, and uh, maybe a few in the end, but everything in between has been gutted, okay, so that we don't see what happens here okay now NASA's come out and said <clears throat> that they pointed the cameras in the wrong direction I mean really how stupid do they think we are that we're gonna believe that story okay NASA the people who are supposed to be specializing in space and astronomy and all these things didn't know which which spot of the Sun to point the cameras at for probably one of the biggest live events um, for them you know um, in the history of NASA, next to the next to the moonwalks, next you know, back going back 50 years, and they didn't know where they pointed the cameras. And is anybody believing that? Is anybody buying that? I'm not. Uh, there's no way that they would have missed this event uh, for what they wanted. And now I'm going to show you what they really wanted and what they don't want us to apparently see. Okay. Ah. Uh. Let's have a look at this um, at this movie. Now, this is Ison coming in, and after perihelion. Now, notice the triangular shape. Now, this tells me two things. Number one, it tells me that the tail of Ison is pointed to Earth. Now I don't. Now, I can't describe that in any way in physics, okay? Because it doesn't make sense. Because it shouldn't be. It should be pointing up in a way, okay? Um, if it's if it's actually heading in this direction, the way the way it shows in the, the way it shows in the clip, okay? I can't explain that. With uh, this, just defies physics in every way. That shouldn't be happening. It shouldn't be pointing its tail this way. Okay, now I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they fudged these pictures, if they fudged this. Or I don't know what they did. Okay, but something is very wrong here. But they missed something. Now, this uh, this movie does this movie ends here, but I've gotten further along with uh, downloading further stuff, and I'm going to show you a bombshell. And it makes sense with everything that's going on, why they would hide um, Ison's perihelion because of what they wanted to do. Watch this. This is Ison. Now this is from, from where we left off 
in the in the previous video. Let's let's watch what happens here. Bam! Did you guys catch that? Watch this. Bam! Did you guys catch that? Let's try it one more time. Bam! See this here? Ison gets struck with something. Then it begins to disintegrate. That is what they wanted to hide. That is what they wanted to hide from the backside of the perihelion event. And that's what they're hiding now. Bam. And as soon as Ison is struck, bam, it disintegrates. They blew Ison out of the sky. That's what they're hiding. That's what they wanted to hide with the perihelion event. Because I believe they shot at Ison when it was behind the sun. When nobody could see it. That was what they wanted to hide with the perihelion event. That's why we got Bupkis for video. Okay. On the most... Probably the most televised event for NASA since the moon since the moon landings. That is one that they wanted to keep from us. That is the truth that they want to hide. That's why they guided the frames, because I think they took shots at Ison behind the sun where we couldn't see it. But they, but they messed up the job. They fucked up. And they didn't destroy Ison completely. They thought they would have. But because they messed up, Ison survived, or at least a portion of Ison came out the top. And they had to take they had to do what they had to do in the view of everybody. Now, of course, mainstream media is all bought and paid for, you're not gonna get any stories. You're not going to get any truths. Well, let's go to Helio Viewer. And here it is. The same streak. We'll step it forward. Now, I'll try to do this one second, one second, but it will, it will not update. Uh, there we go. Let's move it forward a little bit now in 15 minute increment increments. And as soon as it gets hit, As soon as it gets hit, of course it starts to disintegrate. I already showed you the video in motion. Okay. And that's the end of Ison. And now it starts to disintegrate. Now, the chances of that impact, okay, that one meteor or whatever shooting star is can hit a comet. You know, the two bodies can collide at those speeds, okay, are so astronomical. I mean, um, if this is a natural phenomenon, I'll be a monkey's uncle, okay? But the real revelation here is, guys, what they really wanted to hide and why you didn't see anything in the period of an event is space-based weapons, okay? That's the top secret that they didn't want you to see, that they didn't want you to know. Now, that begs another question, by the way. Why did they shoot ice on down if it was really of no threat to Earth? If it was no threat to us? Why bother shooting it down? Are they just testing out new weapons on whatever happens to come along? I mean, we got plenty of asteroids to shoot at. You know, in the asteroid belt. Why shoot at Ison? Notice the tail 
of ice on is still pointing towards Earth. The tail of ice on is still pointing towards Earth as it came out from behind the sun. The tail of ice on was pointing at Earth. I don't understand the physics of that because it shouldn't be. But when this thing comes in and gets hit, when it does get hit, it's play this a little bit. Actually, let's go back. Yes, a little more. Now, when this thing does get hit, by the way, there's another shot I think that missed. Bam. Let's do it again. Now, when this thing gets hit, look at the impact direction that this is coming in. Okay. Now remember, ISON is supposed to be 30 million kilometers from Earth above us when it uh, goes by on December 25th. And it just got hit. And look at the impact angle of the strike. Bam. And it starts to disintegrate. Excuse me. But where's all those fragments? from the impact angle, they're going to be coming down words towards us, right? The impact fragments from that strike, where are they going to go? Did they just make this worse by shooting ice on? Um, now, I don't know what kind of weapon they used, particle beam, I have no idea. But they messed up their first strike behind the sun, and now they broke common ice on up here. But what about those fragments? Where are they going to go? Should we be expecting a world-class meteor event coming in uh, in a few weeks? What's going to happen? And from what I understand now, Bruce Gary is no longer going to be covering Comet Ison. That is very disappointing. Um, of course, it's broken up, so really he has nothing to cover. But I'm going to put this general call out to every amateur astronomer within earshot of this message who sees this video. Please don't stop your coverage of Ison. We could be in graver danger now than we were when Ison was in one piece. Um, we really need to know what happened and where those fragments are going. <sighs> Fucking bastards, man. Anyway, uh, that's my update, guys. That's what happened. That's the truth. That's what they were hiding from Ison's perihelion. Okay, event. This is what they didn't want. This is what they did not want you to see. Okay, behind the sun. And now they're saying that they pointed the cameras in the wrong way, which is all a load of horse shit. Okay, bunch of NASA fucking scientists don't know which way to point a fucking camera. I mean, how stupid is that? How stupid do they think that we are? This is what they wanted to cover up. Now, they took a shot at Ison behind the sun, but they fucked up. And Ison made it through, or at least a portion of Ison made it through. Or maybe two portions, I don't know. But I think they did destroy part of Ison behind the sun. And then this part came out that wasn't supposed to. And then, of course, comes the finishing blow. The finishing blow. Bam. As soon as Ison gets hit, it starts to break up and disintegrate. It, they disintegrated it. Okay? This is the Canadian Greek. I'm out.